With the cold and the Monday morning, uh, when my cabin mate Grant woke me up and told me that there was a bunch of whales outside, I, I honestly thought twice about uh, jumping and running. And then he said that we were launching boats, which then definitely got my attention. As soon as I popped outside, I realized that everyone was out there and there was what seemed to be an endless array of humpback whales just going crazy. Uh, everywhere you looked, uh, 360 degrees, were just uh, groups of two, three, four, I think even maybe six uh, humpbacks. And so we, uh, we loaded up the boat with the hydrophone. Uh, we used the Billy G to do up close whale observations, in particular because it's a water jet powered boat, which means that it doesn't have a propeller with blades that could put, uh, pose a potential danger uh, to the whales. We, uh, we located a, uh, a small group of whales and we wanted to uh, put the hydrophone in the water. So we kept a very safe distance from them and when we approached them we turned the engine off and we just drifted. And it wasn't seconds before it, w it seemed like curious dogs were coming up to the boat to see what was going on. These enormous creatures that some of which were maybe size and a half to twice the size of the boat we were in were just rolling and pitching and diving and swimming all around us. and. Uh, I never felt like I was in danger, I never felt like, you know, because they were, despite the fact that they have enormous girth and they were so big, they were ridiculously graceful. Um, and they put the hydrophone in the water and I was, to see these people's faces sitting on the sponson of the inflatable with the earphones in, I was just about to ask one of them if, if could they hear them and then I saw their face light up with this big grin and I figured that that was, uh, that was my answer right there. Uh, so we filmed them for a little bit and then this nutty videographer decided it would be a great idea to uh, put on a mask, fins and snorkel and jump into the uh, frigid water. Uh, so we let him uh, swim around for a little bit, we put him back on board and then we just continued for the next uh, couple hours to, uh, to try to go to as many different pods of whales as we could so that the, uh, the scientists uh, could do, uh, get as many up close shots of the flukes for identification as possible. But also we wanted to get as many different samples with the hydrophone as we could so that we could compare and contrast them and send that data back, uh, back to land as well. So it was a very successful day all around. It was personally gratifying to me, obviously, uh, because you know I was there in the middle of the wild with these beautiful animals. It was a, it was a very humbling experience to realize that, uh, no pun intended, but we weren't the biggest fish in the sea at that time. So it was very cool. It was very cool.